Mm -hmm. All right, hi everyone. I'm Carolyn Kemps. I am an instructor trainer with Aqua Health Canada and Aqua First Aid USA. Uh, during the COVID situation, we're all practicing our social distancing, so we're going to spend some classroom time today getting your horses ready for the season, getting your barns ready, getting your trailers ready, and getting your horses ready. With Equa Health Canada, what we teach is equine health and emergency first aid. So we can show you how to use all the elements, but today I'm gonna to run through what I have in a good first aid kit that you should have on hand or build for yourself. First thing you're gonna to wanna to know is if you do have a problem with your horse, how to identify what their vital signs are so that you can have a good informed conversation with your vet about what's not normal and what kind of emergency they might be dealing with before they arrive heart rate, respiration, temperature, hydration, and intestinal sounds. For that, you're gonna to wanna to know how to use a stethoscope, also to how to take a horse's temperature. So we have a thermometer and some Vaseline here, as well a tape measure, so you can actually determine how much your horse actually weighs. Perhaps weight has changed dramatically. That's a good conversation to have with your vet. Now, if you're dealing with a bleeding wound, First, some things that you're going to need. You're going to need a blood stop product. This is just an example. You can use other things like sea locks or you can use a compression bandage. Also, antiseptics. So we've got betadine here. It works really well as a really nice scrub, multitude of purposes, and some hydrogen peroxide. For wound gels, use whatever you're most comfortable with. Uh, just a couple of examples that I've got out of my own kit are Hivitane and Vetresin. Um, if you have a wound though that requires suturing, don't put anything on it. Leave that to the vets to deal with, okay? Now when you're getting into bandaging materials, you're going to want some um, non-adherent uh, sterile uh, pads as well diapers. Diapers come in all ranges of sizes as you know. They make great hoof dressings, they make great bandaging material and quite absorbent. We also, at any tax store, you can find lots of absorbent materials. These are some Gamgees. They're uh, pricey, but very effective and very absorbent so that you can manage a bleeding wound and manage the aftercare. Gauze squares, you can buy those by bulk as well, and gauze roll. So gauze rolls, you can gain, again get at any tax store and again, nice and stretchy and a good compression layer. Into the bandaging, I keep a multitude of bandages, either for a horse that may be lame, sore, or injured, also for traveling, but I always keep one in the shape of a donut. That way, if I have a horse that now has come up with an eye injury, I can now cover that eye very quickly, keep the horse comfortable while I'm waiting for the vet to come on scene. Now, in this trying time, everybody seems to be fixated on her hoarding toilet paper. Horse people, as you know, have been hoarding vet wrap for years, and as you can see, I always keep lots on hand. Okay. Bandaging uh, material, you're gonna wanna have a variety, depending on the size and injury that you're dealing with, and of course, you're gonna wanna wrap that all up with duct tape to make sure that nothing comes loose, but also for building the uh, hoof boot. Every first aid kit should also have lots of scissors, a flashlight, in case your horse happens to get injured at night, which happens a lot. I keep a bucket specifically for veterinary purposes, that way I can sterilize it, I can keep it clean, and I can use that for wound care. Every first aid kit should also have wire cutters, tools for pulling a shoe if that becomes necessary, a hook pick for removing debris, and I also keep tweezers and a scalpel in my first aid kit. Finally, I have this pump garden sprayer that I keep specifically for wound care. You've got the smaller version or the larger version. Warm water and a little bit of table salt. Now you've got a nice clean saline rinse for irrigating a wound. Make sure you label that or keep that somewhere separate. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today at Aqua Health Canada, Aqua First Aid USA. I look forward to seeing you on the road soon.